Okay. Here we are. No. Cat's sitting on me. I was trying to get some, uh, golem bricks to get a better... better gear. Uh, I, uh, I did, uh... They just fell down in the back uh, behind me. But anyway, I uh, was trying to get some better gear. I got Nomar uh, an actual spear now. His is actually better than this, but because she does like fixed damage and I don't have any spears to give her spirit, I don't know if it matters. I got a better sword for Aldo too. And Rick is still using a bad, well, not a bad hammer. She's still using the hammer she had because I gave my cry. See if I got enough. I'm not gonna keep working on that if I didn't. Something I was doing earlier and then I got bored. I think I might need more brick for I can before I can buy board. I have a What I was trying to buy. Doesn't really matter anyway. I should, I should uh, give out my uh, points though. I should have done that while I was okay. while I was uh, working on things before. Ow! Kitty, that is this water is mine. It is not yours. That is very greedy. She has her own water, but she likes to come take mine. time unlocking all these abilities. It's very exciting stuff. It's passive ability buffs. Or stat buffs, I guess, actually. Skill! Kitty, you can't eat my potato. Stop, I can't see. I cannot see through your tail, my kitty. A bit upset because it was stormy earlier, but came back out. And also did a hairball. It was unpleasant, but it is what cats do. All these skills we got for uh, Nomar. I'll have to check what his new skill is, probably. Well, he didn't have that many. He had, like, two, so I'm gonna auto gone onto his bar. We were going... No, no, we weren't. This way. I can be very inefficient. How I, uh, lock my bar, uh, bars. So, you know, once you get to max level, it doesn't matter how hard you do. But here at low levels, it kind of does, and I'm not, uh, not the... Not the most on top of it. Not sure what to do with it is. I do know I always try to give Aramis spirit. Got it. Speaking of which. She is. Oh. Try and get all the way to her last board. I don't know how far I can get. I went in an optimal way, but this is the way I went. I guess it's alright. None of the- well, there's spirit. I can't get a request, and I can't do her quest until I progress further in the story. There's 20 spirit over there. Run that way. I won't reach it yet, but later. Later we'll get there. My Thorpe, hello there. How are you today? Hi. 
I'm doing the very exciting task of remembering to give my characters their uh, AP points. Because uh, I forgot about it. It'll make them a lot more useful. They'll actually get some more skills. I mean, it depends on the character. Some speed characters have, like, more skills than you have slots for, and some have, like, two good skills and you don't care about the rest of them. I should have done this before, but I forgot and I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Sorry about that. This one costs one or two. So, we'll just save that. Good, you're cooking yourself some black beans? Mmm, very nice. I was trying to make a coconut pie earlier. I don't think it went well. I, I made the crust and like part of the filling which is cooling now and uh, I don't think either part worked out. I think I burned the and I think I made the filling wrong. But I guess we'll find out when I finish it. Whatever that is. Later. Hopefully it's at least edible. Maybe I just want a delicious pie. Apparently it's it's a bit difficult to make a delicious pie. I use? It might be. This is Rosetta, then it is. Don't use her anymore because she's too good. I forget. Are you sure it'll be tolerable? I hope. I hope. The, the filling is like part, part of it's like a pudding kind of thing, and I'm not so good with making pudding. It's a. Uh, requires some skills. I try not to burn it, but sometimes it kind of just happens. This is just a better version of that. Save. Next character. Nomar. Put that there. We'll put your rage attack there. Put your medium water attack there. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine as is. What have you got? Us. There's Ritual, Dragon Lamp. She has like the later characters where they have lots of abilities that do different things. I actually read them. Piercing attack, no enemy to and power. Dragon origin is stack. And dragons. Earth type piercing attack on a single enemy. Times two, extra large and increased damage. Ah! No, no, no. Did I get rid of it? Increased damage when used consecutively and attack all enemies with damage based on user's spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this one she uses after she stacks dragon. Dragon spirits. Uh, I guess I'll just give her a debuff. Help keep my other people alive. They are very weak and they will die very easily. should be there because it's an AoE attack and I always like my AoE attacks to be here, my single target attacks, strong a target, uh, single target attack be here, and any kind of utility attack or ability to be here. <laughs> you're hungry while your beans are cooking so you're gonna eat some eggs. Do you have eggs already or do you have to cook some eggs? You got a better hand. You did. Why aren't you using your better hammer? There we go. He's only got three. Make sure they are in. Well, oh, those, neither of them is a multi target attack. So. Assist Garoon! Green. Bigly green, anyway. Baldo? Okay. Everyone is. Gotta cook them. Your beans are gonna be a few hours. Oh, yeah. Beans have to, like, sit in water and stuff for ages. 
Things are slow. I think I've got any armor. Probably. Uh, buy the good armor first. <laughs> buy the emerald bangle. Probably should have given it to like my healers. Oh well. Healer, you can have this one. Die, and then the last one can go to there are only three types of armor. There's eight weapon categories and three armor categories. Apparently pretty much everyone I have uses bracelets. You wanna wear a choker? Nope. For necklace. Don't equip. Heal choker. I'm gonna buy all of these so they're prepared. Actually, I really don't need the old ones. I just want them for my collection, which I mean, you do get achievements for the collection. Oh no, I spent all my money. <laughs> I'm poor now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, wait, here. Seal can have this one. Fast improvement over no armor at all. I got a potato. The baked potato. Oh yeah, I was going to do a quest on the second floor. I should not have taken a huge bite of baked potato, that was a bad decision. Palace maid has been sent out to buy flowers, but has forgotten what she needs to buy. Help her out. Oh, I think this is a very short quest. What was it again? No, it's no good. I can't remember at all. Here we come to save the day. You there, you wouldn't happen to know the queen and prince's favorite flowers, would you? Huh? How would I know something like that? This is hopeless. The chief maid will have my head if I don't get the flowers for their graves. Oh, perhaps you could go and ask her for me. If I go back without fulfilling, fulfilling my duties, I'll get lectured like you wouldn't believe. Wouldn't want that. I just have to ask what flowers to put on the graves, right? Yes, that's all. Easy peasy. Oh, but don't tell her you're there by my request. Chief Maid should be somewhere on the first floor. She'll know the Queen and Prince's favorite flowers for sure. Word of warning, though. She tends to ramble, so you might be talking to her for a while. Oh no. We gotta converse. Ow. Converse with people. An RPG, that's what you do. You run around, and you talk to people, and then you go kill things for the people. And then you go tell the people you killed the thing. At least that's my experience. RPGs. I mean, there's that, but I feel like you can boil it down to that. What do you want with me? Oh, interested in the royal family's taste in flowers, are you? Funny story, really. It happened in spring, just as the plants were starting to bud. Queen and Prince were taking a walk and noticed some lovely flowers in a corner of the royal garden. They were exquisite Corinda baby roses, a vivid shade, vivid shade of blue. His Majesty was quite taken with them. I dare say you wouldn't find them on Corinda Plains now. They're out of season. Search all over for more of them. The prince and queen spent a great deal of time looking at the flower beds with red, white, and pink blooms. There they were, blue flowers right among them, each with eight brilliant colored petals. Turned out Grin, the old gardener, had been taking great pains to cultivate. He's getting a bit on, he's getting on a bit now, but if I remember rightly, his son became a confectioner. He makes delicious sweets. You heard of Zol Saffron Cakes? They're a rather famous product here about. The combination of their mildly sweet aroma and striking colors is simply divine. The brown are chocolate, the white rose, and the pink saffron flavor. Zol Saffron have four large petals. They're easy to spot, and their nectar is very sweet. Corinda Roses have five petals. They're very lovely too, but Zol Saffron is, are just so much more elegant. They're my favorite flower. I had many spirited discussions with Her Majesty of Britain. Grin's son originally grew up in Sarupa. Did you know that? There's a flower that grows in the Charl Plains near there called Charl Halcyon. They come in yellow, green, and purple. Prince always thought they looked rather charming in bloom. He said seeing those twelve tiny petals open up was like seeing the earth smile. How adorable. From what I hear, Grin's son is courting one of our own maids. No accounting for taste. Sent her to get flowers a while ago. Wonder what's keeping her. If you happen to see her, tell her I want her to clean the corridors next, would you? 
Huh? What? Is it, is it finally over? Uh, right. What was that? Tell her to clean the corridors. You'd be so kind. Escape while you can! Gosh, I didn't ask for her life story. At least we find out what we needed to know. I can always ask her again if I forget. Of course, it'll mean sitting through all that again. First, I'd better give the maid on the second floor the chief's message. Back to the second floor we go! And there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, there she is. Hello. Hello, maid. I have come with instructions. Excuse me, I have a message for you from the chief maid. From the chief? Is it new orders? Yeah, she said she'd like you to clean, um, somewhere else when you're done here. What did the chief say to clean next? The corridor. Corridor cleaning. Understood. I'll get right on it. Oh, but I still haven't done anything about the flowers. What do I do? Get them for you if you like. I know what kind you need now. You're a lifesaver. A thousand times, thank you. You can get fla the flowers in Actual's Marketplace. Great, I'll head over to Actual now. Feel free to ask the chief mate again if you forget which ones you need. Don't know if I have the time for that all again. Better make sure I'm 100% certain before I leave. Scared. I want to talk to her again. Now we will use the magical power of the map to transport ourselves to Actual. Because fast travel is the greatest thing that ever existed in a video game. You can take in the sights when you wish, and you don't have to when you're busy. Another piece of potato. Sometimes a plain baked red potato is very good. Oh, this man was the flower seller. Excuse me, do you sell flowers? One of the maids from Pelsiple Palace sent me. Sure, sure, step right up. What kind of flowers do you want? Let's see. What color is the flower? Blue. Eight. Brenda Baby Rose. Hmm, sorry, I don't believe we stock any flowers like that. Must have remembered the details wrong. Gonna have to go back and hear the story again. Don't remember. Don't remember. I hate that story so much. I actually did it correctly the first time, but I don't remember it. I don't remember. It was these. Not going, we're not going back. I'll figure it out. Uh, probably. If I don't, I will go back. Good. I think it was blue. Eight petals. And maybe it's a Corinda rose? Time to suffer? Yes. Uh, I think I gotta go back and listen to her story, because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Back to the palace. My potato will keep me company. It has eight petals, I think. Yeah, that's that's what I think too. I just I can't remember anything else apparently. <laughs> I'm not gonna read out all her talking this time, so it'll go faster. Here she is. Brenda Baby Rose is blue. Okay, those are out of season. Red, white, and pink. Huh? Ooh. Plain potato. Yes, I'm eating a plain baked potato. See? potato. I baked it in the oven. But you know, it's it's a cooked potato. Oh, 
stop talking to me. Let me go. There we go. Every time I click on the map, I worry that it's going to crash. But it has not done so. It just really doesn't like loading the map. Um, potato. Good? Yes, it's a very good potato. I frequently eat plain baked potatoes. My mother thinks it's very strange. I mean, it's basically just a, like a little self-contained snack. Let's see. Red, white, and pink. Eight petals. The rose. Bring the baby rose then. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. The white and pink. Eight petals. The baby rose. Oh! Oh, I hate it! gonna use the power of Google to solve this problem. Because I don't like it. I saw a video that you've wanted to try for a while, an oven-baked onion. You probably enjoy that. You like your onions, don't ya? Let's pull Alice flower quest. <laughs> I'm sure lots of people have issues with this quest. It's hard to remember. Oh, the petal numbers were going wrong. Apparently it's pretty good. I, I'm not a big fan of onions, but I imagine if you are, it probably is. Red, white, and pink. Five petals. And a rose. Yeah. And I only had to Google a little bit. Because I didn't feel like going and talking to the lady again. Actually, I probably could have looked at the conversation log. I forgot about that. The second floor. Your messages have like a 30 second delay. Well, I think it's because I'm a bit ahead, I think, of what you're seeing, and then it takes me a moment to see your message, so there, there's quite a bit of delay there, I guess. You're back. Did you get the flowers? Yep, I hope these are the right ones. Handed over the Corinda roses. Thank you. The truth is, I don't know whether these are the right ones or not either. Loris said the queen and prince like these. I think it's a safe choice. Why can't you just ask the florist? You there. Have you finished cleaning the corridors yet? Yar, Chief, I'll be done any minute now. Pick up the pace, will you, girl? What's this? Haven't you taken those flowers to the memorials yet? No? Well, I I'm sorry. You see? Well... Come now. Don't dilly-dally any more than you already have. At least you got the right flowers, just like I asked you. Well done for that. There may be hope for you yet. I assume you can only bring her the right flowers because the guy doesn't seem to have any of the wrong flowers in stock. <laughs> Looks like we got away with it. Now you just have to take them to the graves. I'm so happy. Huh? I feel like my heart's going to burst. That's the first time the chief maid has ever complimented. Your favorite response, Sharg. <laughs> oh, uh, that's great. Things are looking up. Yes, I just knew I made the right choice when I asked you for help. I wish I could share this happiness with the dear departed queen and prince. Everyone likes getting flowers. I'll bet they're very happy wherever they are. Now there's a lovely thought. I'll lay these on their graves right away. Thanks again. Ooh, off she goes. Goodbye. Quest complete. Now we can actually continue the main story like I said I would, but then I got distracted by the flower quest because I forgot it existed. I saw it. Oh, 
the stairs we go. Also, the palace throne room. King. Are you King Palsible? Yes, welcome. I don't have the chance to receive- I don't often have the chance to receive guests. You must be weary from traveling all this way. Ah, or perhaps I should say, from traveling all this time. It seems you've already been briefed on our circumstances, Your Majesty. Oracle informed me that visitors from another time would appear before me. To be precise, he said that time travelers would arrive to impede our efforts. Don't like the sound of this. What are you planning? What does it have to do with the Tower of Time? Choices we make influence events to come. They shape the future. It has always been thus. The future exists to be changed. Or rather, while it does not yet exist, it can always be changed. There are infinite possibilities, and yet only one can become what we know as reality. What's wrong with choosing to create the future I most desire? Is that not my right, maybe my duty? Don't get up to overwrite history to suit your own ends. Not right. The whole city full of people disappeared from existence. Doesn't that bother you at all? Not in the least. I never met them and never even knew they existed. Why should I shed a tear for people who haven't even been born? In fact, now they never will. Your attachment to a single possible future just goes to show how short-sighted you are. That's ridiculous. What kind of monster are you? I still don't know how she's still around. Was that explained? I'm sorry to say there's no place for the likes of you in this time. Farewell, travelers. Uh, warg. We got eaten by the floor! In peace. Future is mine to control. I will guide the world to its true path. Wah ha 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 ha. Does, does, does his little laugh. And we just ran around doing so many chores in your palace. So inconsiderate. Bark. <laughs> Oof. Dang, that was a bumpy ride. Palsiful's gonna pay when I get a hold of him. Hey, we just gotta get out of the swamp cave. Are you alright, Rika? Affirmative. My shock absorber's cushioned my fall. All systems functioning at regular efficiency. Good to hear it. Got different music here. Where are we, anyway? This place is kind of creepy. Looks like we've fallen into the bowels of the earth. Rather not stick around too long, there's got to be a way out somewhere. I concur. I find the humidity of this environment disagreeable. It is not good for my nano coating. Lead the way, Aldo. Aldo or Baldo? Probably Aldo. Unable to switch maps for a while. Ooh. Look at all these mushrooms! Under attack. Let's see what's attacking. Uh, slimies. Eventually she'll run out and we'll have to actually try, but, you know. Till then, we can adventure. Eat some slimes. Admire the scenery with all these giant mushrooms. Brace yourselves. Think, are there giant mushrooms in real life? I've never seen one, but that doesn't necessarily mean they don't exist. I just I'll kind of assumed they did. They look very cool. Ooh. Fine. Blue liquid. Explore the dungeon. You're a fool to challenge me. Not really, you don't think? A pity, but. I expected. It'd be cool if giant mushrooms were. Oh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're better in video games. They'd probably be kind of creepy in real life. But they look very nice in games. Especially if they glow. I like giant glowing mushrooms. Come on, no more! It's probably why I liked um in the old Battlefront. I think it was Battlefront 2. I'll defend everyone. Fel Felucia. It had all these like giant fungus and stuff. It was very pretty. I liked it. Uh, old Battlefront 2 was very general though, I think. I remember being very, very happy with the ice areas. Like, there was an ice cave. I just I liked looking at it because it was so pretty. The ice was lovely. 
It, it probably doesn't look as great these days, but I, I thought it looked pretty amazing back in the day when it came out. It, it was it was pretty amazing for child child me. This is Nomar's nice new spear. And all the better new axe too. Oh, or not axe. I can't. Do that. That's a sword. But it's very clearly a sword. No one can defeat a dragon summoner. Don't have any axe people on my team. I don't know if I. I think I do have someone. I think I have like one of the axe pirate characters. Yeah, they thought they could hide this from me in this fog. They could not. I ran straight into it. Brace yourselves. Probably finish this no area and be done for the day. Tired easily. Of course. This will take a little bit. Oh, and we'll get one of my favorite companions soon. That'll be exciting. Hostile forces detected. Summoner's ritual. Summoner's ritual is great. Makes my life so easy. Let's keep it up. Everyone just dies. Power creep is real, and I am benefiting from it. I like the music here. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it sounds very nice. I won't hold back. I did manage to defeat a couple of the horrors, uh, three horrors yesterday, I think. No, just two. The di one of the dinosaurs on the Zol Plains, moves. and one of the birdie guys uh, in front of Falsical Palace. Because she's such a high level now, I was like, if I can just not die, I should be able to actually kill it. It was very slow and painful, but I did it. I would not advise it, but I did it. Press the correct button or I can't get out of that screen. There's a horror. I'm not gonna try fighting it. I don't want to use up all my MP on it. Ah! Got into combat while well, the people were doing a little you. Okay. Oh, these guys. Oh, it's dead now. Bye. Okay, that's where the next area is. So we're gonna go back over here and see if there's any loot. Oh, under attack again. Look, my Brace yourselves. follows me around. Yep. But I do, I do wanna, I don't know how far in the story I gotta get no to get more cats, but I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to switch around my cats. More cats. No, oh, I can't have more than one of them. I, I wanna, I wanna have different cats with me. Cause they're all so cute, they all deserve to go on adventures. Oh yay, Pry reached level 20. He's my lowest level. I only got him recently, but I did start using him. Excuse me. Oh dear. So much combat in this room. Brace yourselves. It wouldn't have been so bad if I were efficient, but I was not efficient in my uh, pathing around the room. We've only got like two more two more uses of her ability before she comes out of AP. Or MP, sorry. AP is the points I use to give them their abilities. I always do a couple of these little dungeony things in the, uh, in the, okay, I think it's L, <clears throat> in the, uh, main story stuff. Like how we went through the, um, volcano before to fight Salamander. Here there's the volcano with Salamander, this place, and, um, uh, We haven't gotten to. Everyone. We haven't gotten to many others yet, though. They're so colorful too. They're like reddish and green light. I don't know why the light's green. <laughs> I'll defend everyone. A little chilly. 
And we can buy more gear with all these monster pieces that we get from killing the monsters. How's it going? I went, you went to get an apple? Oh, pretty good. We're just, uh, adventuring through the, uh, swamp. Uh, oops, I forgot to eat food, so now we have to actually try. None of you have an AoE ability. I need Seal to be on the front line. He has an AoE. I'll do it. Oh, don't hit Seal. Okay, we'll make her kill that one, because she can one-shot them, because she's twice their level. <laughs> poor little, uh, poor little guy. Uh... Sorry, my Alexa was talking to me. Now we will eat some ultra jerky. Unique spice in the marinade really whets the appetite. I guess it's like regular jerky, but better. <laughs> oh! Wait, wait, wait. What? Ah, up the lamp. No, kitty. No, the water is mine. Why is my cat so pushy and selfish? I mean, I love her, but... Does she have to take all of her things? But I think... Hmm, are you saying that it is in fact her water and not my water? It's probably what she thinks. Uh, she probably thinks everything that is mine is in fact hers and she merely lets me use it. She is, after all, a cat. Lamp. Gotta light the lamps because you can't. You can go sideways through the fog, but you can't go. I think you can. You could. Probably not, though, or it would be a pretty useless move. Just try to go. I won't slow you down. I like no more armor. It's pretty and shiny. I forgot to switch her. Summoner's Ritual. There we go. Now we're gonna do this efficiently. I mean, we can kill them all in two attacks anyway, but... Let's keep it up. One attack is faster than two attacks. Oh. Yep. Yep. I was kind of wanting to play Dark Forces 2 again, and then I realized that I have no idea how to make it run. I mean, it was running before, but I uninstalled it and... I don't remember how I got it to run before. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to figure that out again. For sure. Green liquid. I wonder who got green liquid and put it in a bottle and then put it in a chest in the underground swamp. Sure you could do it? Yeah, I'll probably figure out sometime how to how to get it to run again. I just was uh wanting to stream, so I was like, I'll uh, I'll do that another day. Figure that out and put all these little skulls. A lot of people died here. Suppressing enemy. Oh, let's. I think those are monsters. Level up. The next area. I like to completely explore each area before I move on to the next area because I don't like to come back. Sometimes you have to because you miss things, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I am not not, uh, not that fond of going around and constantly. Doing I didn't check. Could I turn the other way? Maybe I can. Ah, I can't tell. I'm being attacked. I won't hold back. Also, while you were gone, I was rambling about how I want to. Well, I think it was while you were gone. I was rambling about how I want to. Once you get far enough in the story that I can trade which cat adventures with me, because there's so many cute cats, I don't have to take them all with me. They all deserve to have a turn adventuring. Love kitties. Hey, yeah, there's more treasure. That's not a treasure. You gotta get all the kitties. There's a, um, book. Not a book. What do you call Hostiles it? Hostiles eliminated. Records. In here, fucked. Catalog. Yeah, look, I can't catalog cats yet. 
get to the part of the story where I can catalog the cats. Every cat I meet goes in my cat catalog. Not every cat. The ones who go in the catalog. Catalog? I bet they did that in. Come on, no more! I also do fishing. Very dull. I actually enjoy it kind of, but it's that doesn't make it not boring. to enjoy boring things. There's another horror lurking up there. I have to avoid that so I don't die a tragic, tragic death. Which I might be able to fight it just because she's at such a high level now, but it's very boring. I'd rather not. I'd rather just avoid. On the other side. I won't hold back! Okay. Eventually we'll be able to time travel again. That, that'll be pretty exciting. Kind of when... I'd say when things really start to pick up. I don't remember how far you have to I get to be able to do back. that again. Summoner's Ritual. Summoner's Ritual is amazing. I think you might need a higher, higher level version of it to, uh, to deal with higher level enemies, but as is, uh, 5,000 damage is pretty good. Hostiles eliminated. It, uh, it takes care of all the mobs. If I turn this off, is that thing gonna attack me immediately? Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna run away like a coward. Oh wait, was I able to go behind it? I need to see if it patrols. Patrols, I think. Come on. Nothing. What's the point of turning that on then? That was so pointless! <laughs> Very sad. And also I remember there was a red skull here somewhere, but I didn't see it this time. Oh well. Let us escape from the underground swamp caves. Ribbit. But what was that noise? Ribbit, ribbit, croak. I think it's a frog. Movement detected. Presence of unidentified life form confirmed. Spring. Don't step any further. Warg. It's a... Setting foot in my home without my permission. You are either courageous or foolhardy. It's a frog. A frogman. Wait, you live here? Didn't even take off your shoes. Do you care so little for your life as to track mud everywhere? Foul villains. I see I will need to teach you a lesson in etiquette. Whoa, hold on a minute. We didn't mean any. Time for talking is over. Take up your sword. I did not know he made this little croaky sound. Stand attack. Time for an actual Target. boss battle again. Target acquired. We gotta whittle away at his health. It's the true way to experience gaming. You know, to very, very. Although none of your skills are useful, why am I using you? Well, I'm using you because I want to let you. Doesn't make it less sad. Oh, down. Down did not. Okay, they'll keep doing those. Heart shot, mind stamp, face sword, flat noise. Cut. Going a little more spirit now, eh? Your spirit alone won't allow you to best me. Heal. 
Earth. Oh, he's weak to Earth. Go seal. That was fancy. It's a frog samurai. Yes, it is a frog samurai. Okay. You love him? That's Medical good. Support activated. Now we're gonna just slowly smack at him until Seal can kill him. We could bring her out and own him, but... I feel like that would be a little sad. I don't want to do it. Gotta, gotta respect the Frog Samurai. If you don't re respect the Frog Samurai, then what are you really? No, no. Curves, Holy Ray, Crush Arrow. Oh. Target acquired. Target acquired. Oh, go on a slash. Oh, good Bless thing no more got out of there before that went down, or he would have died. Okay, time for you guys Medical to just activated. hold down the fort until, uh, System repaired. until we can get- okay, I'll just back up, we'll bring him back to the front line. Leave it to me. Bless your what happens soul. if a person dies? A uh, cat comes and drags them off and they sit in the back line and can't do anything for the rest of the battle. And they revive with 1 HP afterwards. Uh, I also I'm pretty sure they don't get any XP if they for a fight if they die during it. Uh, unless you res them, but there's like one character who can res them. Well, there's gonna be a second in the very newest content that's coming out. Um on the 17th. I think you saw that happen once. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the only time I think I think most of the time when you saw it was the time I got my entire party wiped by a horror. Uh, so then we just got taken to the nearest inn. <laughs> Elemental guard. He, right here. We do a mind stamp. You do a heal. Actually, for judgment. Okay. Sword. I'm basically waiting for Seal to get his MP back up so that he can come back to the front. I think he might have enough now. Let's uh, swap Nomar with. No. Swap Nomar with Seal. Mind stamp. That is. Yeah. Seal, time for a crush arrow. Exterminate. There we go. We beat the frog samurai. Now it's gonna do that thing where the screen flashes white that I really hate. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Kinda hurts my eyes. I guess it's to make defeating the boss cool. Not too shabby. It's been a while since I had to take a fight so serious. Please wait. We do not wish to fight you. Allow me to explain. We had no intention of encroaching on your territory. Nothing would please us more than to leave. Hmm? What's that you say? You see, we got dropped into this filthy swamp. I mean, into your lovely home. It wasn't our fault. We'd just like to find a way back to the surface, and we're real sorry if we caused you any trouble. You're not burglars, then. And you're not trying to sell me scroll inscriptions. Absolutely not. We wouldn't dream of it. Who'd come all the way to a place like this to sell anything? Talk about desperate. Why didn't you say so before? It would have been a smear on my honor if I had seriously hurt you. Well, no harm, no foul. Let's say we forget the whole thing. Can't believe I'm talking with a frog right now. Now that we're on friendly terms, I must ask again, what are you two doing here? came to the palace to try and stop King Palsiful from changing history, but he wouldn't listen. He dropped us into some kind of trap door, and here we are. Changing history, you say? Where would the king get such a power in the first place? He and the Oracle are working together. They're trying to remake the future as they see fit. I've seen the way the future is supposed to turn out. I can't let them destroy it. Hey, you seem pretty strong. Would you consider helping us? Why would I do that? You two are perfect strangers. But well, I guess that's true. But think of all the people from the future that need our help. Sir Frog, you would be doing us and the world a great service. 
Will you not consider joining forces with us to return history to its proper state? Hmm. The way I see it, the world of the future has nothing to do with me. But this business of interfering with history is unbecoming of his majesty. I cannot allow it. For the sake of the kingdom's honor, I will help put a stop to this. Does that sound acceptable? Sure, that'd be fine. As a faithful retainer, it is my duty to ensure that the king does not stray from the path of righteousness. Feels strange to have to leave this place, but I'm left with little choice. I'm meant to be. Great, I am Aldo. I am Rika. I am Cyrus, a servant without a master. Perhaps you and I were destined to meet here. I expect great things of you. Same here. I look forward to working with you. Cyrus, joined your party! Let us waste no more time. Walk. I guess that was his little flowers and books table. He reads in his swamp home. Da. These trees are blue. Sorry, I was just I was just having a moment where I realized these trees were blue. We're back in actual. Who'd have thought there was a place like that under the city? From what you have told me, appealing to the king's better nature at this point will do us no good. I doubt he will let you off with a dip in the marsh if you try that again. I concur. It may be more expedient to investigate the tower ourselves. Sounds good. We'll go to the Tower of Time and see what we can learn about the King's scheme. Can I have a moment of your time before we go, Aldo? Hello, Cyrus. What's up? That sword at your waist seems a fine weapon. Why did you not use it in our duel? Truth is, I couldn't use it even if I wanted to. This sword, it's called Angor o Ogre Rancorum. It has, it kind of has a mind of its own. It only brings out its full power if the Ogre Clan wills it. I see. Perhaps we ought to do some research before going to the tower. The sword has surely been enchanted with some powerful magic. I just so happen to know an expert in such matters who lives nearby. Expert? Who is it? Name is Ratchet, the royal magician. She teaches magic to children of nobility. Okay, sure. We'll go find her at the palace and see if she can tell us anything. Wee, we got a new companion, and I need to put him on the team. What will I drop for? Oh, wait, I need that. I'll drop no more, I guess. Clear chapter nine. We've cleared the uh, man-eating marsh. Party, party. I need to put Cyrus in my party. Not have not have the frog samurai that would just be unacceptable anna cyrus oh and he's level 20. Nice. give him a oh there we go he can have a guillotine 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 steel do i have any armor he can... do here you go a ring there we go Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, come back. I need to fix your abilities. I forgot about that. But his little froggy arms. So cute. Love him. Now oh, we gotta click all the things. See? Definitive proof that he's a frog samurai. As ability board called samurai. And he gets, and he unlocks his four star class, his four star level, he becomes a Rakshasa instead of a samurai. He's still a samurai. They're just fancy names. Out of the way. Let's see what his skills are. We can slash. But, well, We'll put your stunning ability there. Beautiful. Now we've got a team of story characters and Tiramis. Over here. I don't know how I never, like, it never really just sank in that these palm trees are blue. I, I should have noticed that, but somehow I didn't. Over 
wonder what it is. I'm going to look at it. Well, uh, we'll go to actual and uh, we'll continue from there. That's a little bit odd. Oh yeah, the, the, the blue palm trees. It is a little odd, but you know, they're pretty, so I'll accept it. But I will, I will allow it. I should have just fast traveled. You Why am I? Fall to my blade. <laughs> That's his voice. Part of the reason I never turn my sound on really in my phone version is because I, because I didn't listen for a long time. Because I didn't listen to the sound for a long time, neither his English voice or his Japanese voice sounds right to me. But maybe I'll get used to it. I've started to get used to them. Much excite? Yes, isn't it exciting? We have the Frogman now. He can be a permanent part of our lineup. I mean, that's not the most efficient, but look how cute he is. You will fall to my blade. Take that! That little feet. Little frog arms. On. I have a hard time understanding what he's saying sometimes. Oh. See, once I, once I get cat stuff, cat stuff, like I can take that cat adventure. Or like, say, there's a cat in here. Go adventuring with the uh, the kitties in here. All the cats in the oh, no, all the cats, but a lot of the cats in the past are big floofy cats. My favoriteest kind of cats. I mean, all the cats are good. I, I personally am very fond. E look at him. Look at his grouchy face. My big girl. I'm not sure. Look at the cat though. Okay. Yes, we have we have acquired we've acquired Cyrus the Samurai Frogman. He will now help us stop the king from being bad. Which is, uh, I guess, what we will continue with next time, because we streamed for 58 minutes, which is almost an hour, so uh, I, I think it's about time to, to uh, be done. So, goodbye. I'm going to eat the rest of my potato. See you whenever I stream again.